Thanks so much for joining us and stay safe. Thank you for listening to the Just Completed program. If you'd like to offer feedback on any of our programming, please email us at info at WPFW.org. How do you stay healthy during a pandemic? One way is by strengthening your immune system. Is it inevitable that we're all going to get COVID-19? Or can we do something about it? Back by popular demand, Dr. Mir Schneider. Moses African Cemetery is a crime scene. The cemetery is being desecrated this very moment. Why is Montgomery County determined to cover up what happened to our ancestors? And what should we learn from their lives that can inform our current struggle? Montgomery County has taken a stand. Black lives do not matter. Stay tuned for an incredible show. Good morning. I'm your host, Dr. Marsha Coleman Adebayo. And I'm with you every fourth Wednesday of the month. First of all, please allow me to thank everyone that contributed to this show. I'm humbled by your confidence, and I promise that this program will continue to provide invaluable information, as well as to blow the whistle on government corruption. So thank you, everyone. Our first guest is one of my favorite health experts. He was born blind. Dr. Mir Schneider taught himself to see and developed an innovative program of healing and recovery that has helped thousands of people, including myself, and improved their health. Good morning, Mir. Hey, nice to be on your show, bright and early in San Francisco. It's about, what, 4 o'clock in the morning there? What time is it? No, it's 6. (laughs) 6 o'clock in the morning, the same thing to me. Um, But great to have you back on this show again. It's wonderful. What, and, you know, this time we actually have a little bit more time because last time you you, you were on the program, it was during our pledge drive, and and the program was, you know, we had to, you know, we had to make sure that we stay on the line and and that we gave the, the community an opportunity to participate through uh, the pledge drive. But today we actually have a nice block of time. Um, so why don't we step back a moment, take a breath, and why don't you tell our listeners? Um, what are the goals of the school, which, as I understand it, you are the founder of the school. What are the goals of the school for self-healing? The goal of our school is to um, find a way to connect between people's life and their potential mm-hmm. and the potential of health and well-being that they can have. That's why I'm so proud that uh, the city of San Francisco allowed us as an exception to use a residential home by the beach of San Francisco. Um, And and, uh, we use the beach as the biggest room in our house there. But Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a very nice house uh, to work with people and help them get as good as they can get. These days, uh, we have a lot of uh, courses online because of the uh, pandemic. Mm-hmm. But uh, I would say that uh, uh, our our uh, real uh, our real goal is to help people who uh, lost vision. For example, I have a person who uh, uh, I'm working with from Israel that she has uh, lost most of her optic nerve. Mm. No diagnosis. They try to find all the scans in uh, in Israel with all the top ophthalmologists, and she lost all the vision she could possibly lose, and now she's gaining it back. And so they don't, they don't understand why she lost it, why she's gaining it. Hmm. Another person called me just yesterday and told me that uh, her retina was thick because there were a lot of blood vessels there, mm-hmm. and uh, they gave her less treatments because they were rationing treatments due to the corona, and mm-hmm. still with eye exercises, she improved her retina and did better. So 
uh, we work with people with muscular dystrophy, with multiple sclerosis, uh, with back problems, and with immune deficiency. And that's one of the things I would like to talk to you about today. Right. How we can help us to do better than we're doing with the inner resources our body has. Mm-hmm. Why don't we talk about that now then? Because, um, you know, you know, there's certain routines that we get into that either can be very helpful or, be, or can become destructive exactly. in terms of our immune system and our overall health. So why don't we talk about what kind of routines uh, do people need to improve their immune system? And I'm really thanking you for the question. This is the thing that I want to say. Um, the medical profession scares us in such a way that they say nothing can be done before a vaccine is going to be found or some great medications will be found for our immune system. But truth of the matter is, if you take a look at what the coronavirus is doing, the COVID-19, the other coronaviruses Mm -hmm. as well, it actually creates a stir-up in our immune system. And what a what? Kills, Excuse me, what was that it, word? It stirs the immune system oh, up. Oh, stirs immune. the immune system, uh-huh. Yeah. What kills people is their own immune system. And the reason why I know how to work with it is that I worked with autoimmune diseases for 45 years. I worked with mm-hmm. people with rheumatoid arthritis, mm-hmm. which is to a great extent a disease where the immune system attacks the cartilage. Mm-hmm. And so uh, the important thing is for us to create uh, a situation where the immune system moderates itself. And truthfully, most people who meet the COVID virus actually contain it quite well. Mm -hmm. Uh, And, uh, you know, the best example we have is Africa. There Mm -hmm. are many cases where they met the virus, but not that many cases where they got sick from it. Mm-hmm. And I really believe there are many more people who met the virus in this country than uh, other people think. I think it's in the dozens of millions, not just millions. Mm-hmm. But when you meet the virus with a good immune system, it actually just exercises it and makes it stronger. In fact, it makes it stronger against other problems. So if how do you, how do you how do you stir up? your immune system so that it can fight not only this virus, but the upcoming flu that everyone is expecting in the fall. So I want to say the opposite. How do you calm your immune system so it regulates Mm. itself and doesn't get out of control and is able to fight viruses and bacteria all along? And so let's start with the fact that we have very unnatural life in the modern times. Mm-hmm. And the unnatural life that we have is that stressors in the far past in humanity were uh, momentary stressors. It was that simple. You walk in the jungle, you meet a lion, either you survive the lion or you don't. Mm-hmm. And several things happen in your body uh, in response to that lion or that tiger. You have your pupils widen up. And you can see it with people who have fear. Your kidneys mm-hmm. stop filtering. Mm-hmm. Your blood stops going to your uh, uh, skin and to your internal organs. Your heart beats very hard. I mean, maybe five times as much as in uh, regular times. Mm-hmm. And you will either run away from the lion or you will uh, fight the lion. Uh, Or like zebras, sometimes they pretend to be dead, and lions don't like to eat dead animals, so if they are convinced, they're going to leave the zebras, and then they will stand up and they will shake for three hours. Here in our life, it's different. Most stresses are long-term stresses, Mm -hmm. lawsuits, economical problems, and right now Mm -hmm. they're more rampant than others, lack Mm -hmm. of justice. Mm -hmm. All kinds of problems of this nature are not short-term, but are long-term. And we don't have the nervous system that can really survive it. Mm -hmm. And so what we need to do is do exercises 
that build up stress in the body and then have the stress drop. The other thing we can do is find ways to relax. For example, I like WPFW. You have wonderful music. Mm -hmm. So especially now in such tense times, uh, in so many ways, starting with the lock, lock, lockout on, and so many businesses destructed, uh, destroyed, so many people have economical issues, this is a good time to say, I'm not going to get relaxation from life. I'm going to relax myself. Mm-hmm. And, and mm-hmm. to find ways to relax, that, that does for your nervous system much, much more than one thinks. And it does so much for the immune system. Because in that situation where you are meeting a line, your immune system stops working, uh, just like the digestive system stops working. Because that moment you need to survive. But unfortunately, our immune system stopped working perfectly in so many ways. Another thing is that with excessive medical care, and in that I mean, it's one thing that you get penicillin if you have severe infection, but it's another thing that they give you antibiotic for any small cold or flu. I think that we should really modify how much medical treatment we take, how much steroids we take. We should really uh, take them when necessary and not take them when, when it's our predilection to, uh, to uh, heal the body quickly. We should let the body heal slowly if it can heal all the way on its own. Mm-hmm. And the other thing is the diet. I mean, this is the I mean, Let's really go into diet because that's a major issue for so many people. Yeah. I think that this day, this day, we should be very, very careful with our diet. Yes, from time to time, you can drink a cup of coffee, but please don't drink it three or four times a day. Mm-hmm. And stop smoking. Stop taking drugs if you take them. This is the time to do it. Mm-hmm. And stop eating junk food. I mean, taste it from time to time to not deprive yourself all the way, but don't live on it. This is mm-hmm. what weakens your whole system. This is what weakens your immune system. Do you know that there's a lady at the age of 113 in Spain mm-hmm. that recovered from COVID-19? She oh also gosh. recovered from the Spanish flu. You know, she recovered from both. But then she was a child, and now she's uh, an old woman, and she recovered. Well, you can recover. So just understand the immune system, which in- basically includes the white blood cells, and the lymph needs to not only uh, attack but regulate itself. Now, the few things that we should really understand, being in fresh air is wonderful. Being in circulated air is terrible. So, for example, um, if you walk around, and I, I really still think that there the medical profession is right. If you walk around and you distance yourself, I would say not even six feet, 10 feet from the -hmm. the next individual, Mm -hmm. and you do get some of the virus in the air, it's actually like a little vaccine for you because you get a little bit of virus, you have enough time to build up immunity to it, you build a nice little hat in your uh, uh, white blood cells and lymph, and that hat squeezes that virus out of existence, and you basically secrete it. That is great. But when you enter a room and the room is closed and there is no fresh air in the room and you meet with a family member or a friend, then lots of viruses come to them at once. You probably know it from childhood. If uh, a girl was playing in a, in a playground and she got sick, she probably was sick for two days, but with her brother in, in, indoors, he could end up being sick for three weeks mm-hmm. as a result of the same problem because he all of a sudden got a lot of viruses. So what I'm saying is don't have air conditioning these days. Have fans and open the windows. And okay, we should really true. learn that. I mean, in airports, they should even not have air conditioners. Mm-hmm. Stop having air conditioners. Stop having circulated air. I wish I could speak nationally about that because mm-hmm. we didn't learn that important to have open air. Just to open the windows. Open the windows and open the fans. 
you know, try to try to uh, have the fan, and when you drive with a car, don't open the air conditioner unless you're alone. There's no problem if you're alone, but mm -hmm. but uh, uh, open the windows. Mm -hmm. This is a big thing to learn. So again, let's work in, in my book, Awakening Your Power of Self Healing, and also mm -hmm. in the different DVDs that we have. Uh, we are working on improving the ability of the autonomic nervous system to balance itself, and then the immune system gets better because, you know, I am really believe that sooner or later a vaccine will be found. And by the way, Masha, I'm telling you, unless they won't allow me to fly without a vaccine, I will not take any vaccine. I believe in my tonsils. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe in my thymus gland, even though it uh, shrunk after childhood, but still we can improve. And by the way, one wonderful exercise that everybody can have is tap on your chest at least 100 times a day to mm. help your thymus uh, start and work better. I believe in my own system. So can you go back to the tapping on your chest part? Yes. So just tap on your chest. And what does that, what does that do? Uh, well, you know, when you're a child, you have a large thymus gland, which mm -hmm. means your lymph is being well produced. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 but when you grow up, the thymus gland starts to shrink and degenerate. And that's why one of the reasons that older uh, people or, or, or old adults are more susceptible to have a problem. They don't have enough lymph to really regulate their system. I mean, basically, the lymph is an old system, and mm -hmm. the white blood cells is more of a newer system. It's being reproduced a lot, but the lymph is uh, between 5 years and 20 years old in every person, while the blood is being reproduced every 110 days. Mm -hmm. So what happens is um, when you have lymph flowing well, it regulates the rest of the system. And if you have a better thymus gland and a bigger thymus gland, and you do get it by tapping on your chest at mm -hmm. least 100 times a day. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> yeah, it's a fantastic thing. It's relaxing, and mm -hmm. it really helps your immune system, that can make a huge, huge difference in your ability to, uh, to sustain viruses. And I want to tell you, when you're able to defeat the virus, you have a stronger system. It's not mm -hmm. only a question of you're not getting sick. You have a stronger system. So when the next thing comes your way, that could be even cancer, you have a system to attack it and to, and to recover from it. And there could be also other diseases that will come to earth. What we need is our inner medication. That's the number one thing that we need. Yes, we do need to use penicillin at times. Don't understand me wrong. I myself ask some, some people to use medical treatment at, at times. But just like surgeries, that some of them are done too often and too many mm -hmm. times, medications are being overprescribed worldwide. Just leave the United States or D.C. to seven and a half billion people that are being overprescribed. And mm -hmm. I think that uh, that's why medical practice leads to a situation where more people die, even though the doctors want to help them, mm -hmm. from medical attention than any other reason. So M Mayor, can, we, can, can we go back to one thing you said, because I don't want to leave this for too long. Yeah. You were saying, I want to go back to the issue of stress and how stress impacts the immune system. Because one of the problems, particularly in the you know African American community, is that we live under a lot of stress, under you know occupation with the police. Um, yeah. You know, the police are controlling our neighborhoods; they're picking up our sons. You know, you know, you know, mothers are worried when their sons go out, even just to hang out with friends because they don't know whether they're going to come back alive or not. So we're dealing with a lot of stress, and it really impacts our, our longevity, quite frankly. I mean, it impacts our overall health, but certainly how long we're going to live. What are some very practical things that people can do who are under a lot of stress? I agree with you. Stress. I agree with you a hundred percent, and uh, I'm really upset at what happened. So I'm a hundred percent behind mm -hmm. that thing. So if we if we think about something very important, is our breath. Mm -hmm. So the on the regular uh, on 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 day to day life, 
everybody should take a little bit of time to sit down and to count their inhalation and exhalation, to, um, to breathe and um, count at least until four as the inhale and seven as the exhale, and mm-hmm. to do it for at least 20 times and do it two or three times a day to reduce the stress. The other thing is, this is something important for me to say, and this is that mistakenly people think that building up strong muscles is making the system stronger. Strong muscles to some extent are good, but creating coordination in the body, for example, an exercise where you move your feet in rotating motion and the head to the opposite direction Mm -hmm. while breathing deeply, um, also working on our sphincters. They're, they became sacrosanct for us, but we actually can use them as muscles. And mm-hmm. this is contracting the bladder and letting go of it, contracting the anus and letting go of it, uh, contracting the lips while basically uh, exhaling like choo-choo train, like mm-hmm. this way sometimes, sticking the tongue out, as impolite as it is, not to anyone, but uh, uh, in, your, in, your, in your close quarters, sticking it out and moving around the mouth, massaging your uh, cheekbones, from, uh, che- cheeks, sorry, from inside and sticking and bringing the tongue back, that, those are very good ways to relax yourself and also to start and stimulate your tonsils. Mm-hmm. And it really helps the immune system big time. So... First of all, listen to the wonderful music in your station or listen to mm-hmm. music you prefer. Mm-hmm. Um, so relax all you can. Think positive thoughts because we have too much negativity in life. Mm-hmm. And uh, focus on your breathing, on your slow breathing. And mm-hmm. then focus on exercise that bring up tension to its maximum but in a friendly environment. And mm-hmm. then the tension drops. Mm-hmm. And that will balance your autonomic nervous system, the part which is fighting and fighting versus the relaxing part, and that will help you breathe better, and that will help you to be very relaxed and measured and help you to think in the right way. You know, I, I'll never forget how once uh, somebody with multiple sclerosis came to me, and she was in an impossible situation in her life. Things did not work well. She did not know what to do. And I was trying to talk to her, and none of the discussion made any difference. So I spent two hours massaging her head, Mm. and that relaxed her completely, and she found all the solutions that she needed. Now, life doesn't always work this way, but quite often when we're relaxed, we always find what we need to do and when we need to do it. And what about this shaking thing you talked about, just, you know, that you were saying that zebras, you know, after they have fended themselves off from a lion attack, they just get up and they shake. Yeah, because um, all kinds of juices are being secreted, you know, the, mm-hmm. the, the, the norepinephrine from the adrenal gland, um, all kinds of uh, uh, juices from the pancreas are being secreted. So when they shake like crazy they release all those juices. So we can do actually the same thing. We can Mm -hmm. stand and shake and shake. And uh, also a movement that I love so much is a bit different. And this is, uh, you probably know it because I've shown it many times, rolling Mm -hmm. from side to side on the floor. Mm -hmm. It's a real wonderful thing to do. You can put a big or long pillow and just roll from side to side. And that really helps you uh, activate muscles you never used before, but also helps you relax. Look at kids. They always like to roll down heels. They, mm-hmm. they have that kind of an instinct. And we we like seeing them doing that. And I think for us to just let go from all the regular thoughts that we have, because there is this justific- justification to the thoughts, but just be aware that those thoughts sometimes uh, bring a lot of problems on their own. It's so important to let go of them now. Because, you know, there's one big statement I heard, life will not make you happy. You have to bring Mm -hmm. happiness to life. Mm -hmm. And that is such an important thing. So, uh, yes, things are terrible around, but let's find a way within us 
to feel good no matter what. I think that's important. Now, we only have a few minutes left. Um, I did, I just took one of your courses online, and I must tell you, I really enjoyed it. Um, and so there are ways that people, even though we're all sort of sequestered uh, in our various states, there are ways that people um, can reach out, that, you, that people can reach out to you and that can, can still learn the methods that you're talking about. So why don't we just spend a couple of minutes and talk about, um, I know like on YouTube, you've got a lot of really fabulous information on YouTube yes. so that they can also access a lot of what you're talking about so now. I own. want people to connect to us because now uh, when uh, people are depressed and unfortunately are still in some ways we're opening but still not as much as we did before uh, in, in life I think it would be wonderful for you to get some of our videos and repeat them a lot and we will make many courses online I just said one as uh, you mentioned um uh, last Saturday. Yeah, uh, Saturday, and, actually. Yes. And I, um, I, I think it's very important for you to spend time with you because you are important. And mm-hmm. uh, we can definitely help. We can definitely help that if you go step by step to improve your breathing, to improve your joints. Uh, and the important thing is Take care of yourself, and I really want to help you. I want to be in your living room with you, and that's what I can do uh, with with the courses online. I can be in your living room teaching you different ways and techniques to feel better than you ever felt in life. And, you know, I just decided to take this time. We, we, we don't have very much time, so why don't you uh, provide your contact information, how people can reach reach you, and how they can access some of this information. So first of all, remember our website, which is self-healing.org. So you can, uh, do, uh, uh, you can uh, write to office manager at self-healing.org. And you can call us at 415-665-9574 and leave a message. And can we definitely want to return message? to you, you know, and, and help you. And so... Uh, just what I want to say is that if you take care of yourself, mm-hmm. you'll be more capable to deal with, with life when life opens, and you'll be yes. happy with every moment of your life. So pay attention to your diet, pay attention to your breathing, and take time to work on yourself. This is the time where you may still have time to do it. So right. go ahead and do it. Our videos could really help you. Okay, just could you just repeat your phone number one more time? 415-665-9574. And if you remember, in your workshop, even though you're in Washington and we are, uh, or you're in D.C. and we are here, there were people much farther than you from New Zealand and from England and yeah, uh, from talking. all kinds of places. So uh, you're next door in a way. Yeah, no, I, I felt like I felt like I was in San Francisco. It was a wonderful workshop, and I enjoyed every moment. And then, plus, you get a copy of the video after the program. It's, you can't ask for much more than that. So, look, I want to thank you so much. Our time is up, but I want to thank you, Mir. I I love um, listening to you, and I love learning from you. I mean, you're such an incredible mentor. So, so thank you for all that you do for helping us understand how we can stay healthy in a very difficult time. Um, and we look forward to your next visit. So thank you so much. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Marcia, thank you. very much. Bye-bye. We will take a quick break for a short WPFW PSA.